get every last drop. <coughs> Woo! I inhaled some of that fire. What is that? He's taking a crap. No! No! Give it back to me! That was a black fin tuna. Look how big he was. Yep. Oh no! <laughs> Going too far. You got a spotlight at least? Yeah, yeah, I got running lights and or the spreader bar up there. It's pretty bright. Good morning, everybody. We have a beautiful day here in Key Largo, and we're gonna do another day of revenge patchery fishing. Got my buddy Joey coming, driving down from Miami. He's gonna be joining us. And right now, I am taking some fuel jugs. I'm gonna throw them in the back of the TRX, because of course, we need fuel. And damn, she's looking good. I got her detailed. <laughs> She's looking pretty good. Got the fuel jugs in the back. And this little, little secret I'll tell you guys. My good buddy Thad, he hooked me up with this bad boy. This TRX, 702 horsepowers. It'll ramp, quite literally it'll, you can hit jumps with it. And it's a beast. And he's got five more in stock. So if you wanna go check yourself out at TRX, dealsinthed.com, that's his website. Go check him out, go give him a call. If you've been thinking about getting yourself a new vehicle, he'll work with you, he'll get it done. But I'm gonna go get some gas, get my rods ready, get some bait. Well, we're gonna head offshore if we don't catch any fish patchery fishing, but we're gonna start with patchery fishing. Maybe get some yellowtail, maybe get some mutton snapper, maybe get some grouper, I don't know. All right, we threw some hands. We ran almost two miles. I think it's time we finally get out and do some fishing. So we- Catch some fish. Yeah, catch some fish. We got chum. You talking about an ice cold beer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna head out to the Key Largo Patch Reefs, probably anchor up in like 40 feet of water, put some chum out, and then we're gonna start fishing. See what we get on. Let's go. Yo. Fifty-six feet of water. Got some fish marking. Okay, we are anchored up. 56 feet of water. We're marking fish under the boat. We have put a block of tournament blue chum out right there behind the boat. Enjoying a cold, I think a well-deserved beer after. Yes, sir. Man, we probably burned way too many calories already today, so we gotta get a couple back. Gotta get nursed. We'll let that chum soak a bit. We got a bunch of bait on the cutting board over there. We have a, some cut barracuda, some silver side. These guys right here little silver sides. We're gonna put them on weighted hooks, yellowtail hooks, drift them back in the chum, and then we got some ballyhoo we'll probably send down on a bigger hook. Maybe get a grouper or something down on the bottom. Thought I was just getting nibbled. Oh, I am getting nibbled. Wallowit. Come on. I'm giving him uh, his moment with it. Here we go. Yeah, he's on. Okay, whatever he is, he's not that big, but he is a fish and he is on. Fish on. Is that a grunt? Yeah, yeah. Oh, a grunt, yeah. A grunt! My favorite! <laughs> <laughs> On the yellowtail hook. A lucky guy, he's gonna get a... I mean, if we were desperate, I'd be keeping him right now, but I don't think we need to. Yeah. You're, you're, you won't be grunting grits today, but probably another day. <laughs> oh. Come on, buddy. I just squirted fish gut juice all over myself. All right, we got a little silver side on the yellowtail hook. Let's see what we can get down there. Maybe another grunt. Yeehaw. Nice, I like that we have a bottom rod out. Yep. That seems like a better one than the other one. Fish on. Yeah, what could it be? Is it another grunt? Oh, yeah, it's a, another grunt. <laughs> grunt. 
Well, I mean, at least there's something going on down there. We just have to catch all the grunts and then we'll start catching the, uh, the snapper. Grunty grunt. Uh, he went down like a rocket. He's on there, I feel him. He's about to make a deadly mistake. You got one messing with you too? Yeah, small nibbles though. Yeah, mine are small nibbles too. He must have a small little mouth. Cause these baits aren't that big. If it was a big fish, it'd just be like, boom. Swallowing up. Probably after the first few thumps, there's probably no bait left. Yeah, I'm it out right now. Oh, you yeah. were robbed. I bet I was robbed too. I was robbed. Damn, man. Yeah, why are they just nibbling? Didn't they learn to swallow? We don't want no small fish. We want some big fish. Fresh ballyhoo tail and the yellow tail hook. That, I think, is going to bring in the bacon. If it's biting the ballyhoo tail, it might be a decent size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's definitely a little bit stronger than the other ones. He's kind of coming straight up too, I think. Might be another grunt. Oh. oh, oh. oh it's tail. a yellow tail! Woo! That's yeah, that's a keeper, that's all right. Keeper right and I got my bait back. Oh, oh. Oh, and he pooped everywhere. Yummy. So we know there's yellowtail back there now. A nice ones too. That's a good size. That's a good 14 inch, right? Yeah, he's definitely a keeper. Oh, 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 oh! Nice fish on. I'm sorry to take it out of my hand. Yeah, that was a that was a feisty one. Yellowtail. Oh! Oh, oh man. <laughs> this piece of crap. <laughs> what is it like? That, what is it like? Uh, that's a good one for. That's a good video taping fish, at least. Yeah, if you get them in the sun and all those colors. Where is that sunlight at? Very nice fish. Woo! That's an acrobatic fish. He's got some crazy old buck teeth on there. Oh, yeah. Look, look at the look. colors on that thing. Look at the tails. Fins up here. Very this sucker was spicy, bro, because he just smashed it out of my hand. <laughs> the bite's turning on though. Yep. Alright. Can catch another eatable fish. Look at this. Oh. That right there is a beautiful yellow tail snapper. Can you tell why they're called yellow tails? I was getting nibbled again. Oh yeah, come on, come on. Am I on? Yeah, go. I am on! Yeah. That's weird. This that was a weird. That was a weird bite, though. He's not even fighting. He's like just letting himself get dragged up. What? Is, it's is it a grouper? It's got to be a grouper. Yeah, that's my little strawberry grouper. Yep. Yeah, dude, on the tail. Yeah, and I even got my bait back. Again. Wonder how many p fish I can catch on this one piece of bait. Come on, buddy. Show the world how pretty you are. You know, there's no size limit on them. We. we <laughs> we technically keep them. Oh, he didn't get hooked. He must be a tiny little bugger down there. Where's the big fish? Come on. There we go. That's a bigger nibble. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's the one we're waiting for on the light rod. Damn it. Why on the light rod? He's definitely got some weight to him. Yes. That's a fish, huh? I, it might be a nettle. I probably won't want to flake him in yeah, with this light leader. Ooh! Oh, he's strong. I wonder if he's a red grouper. Oh, wait, was that your rod just fell over? Oh no. Hey, you did say it was gonna be a 20 inch uh, yellow tail on that little rod. <laughs> it's gonna be a fight for your life, dude. I love these light action fights, but they're also dangerous because if there's a big shark down there, Watch it be like a 12 inch fish. 
Where is he going? Come back. Don't go into the rocks. I already have the drag a little tighter than I would like it to be. He's coming up now. Oh. No! No! His will's been broken. That's, once you break his will, I just want to see the color. Then I'll be feeling real good. Okay, he's coming now. Yep. Oh, I see. Damn, what the hell is that? Oh, no. World's biggest pair of fish. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Wow, what a beautiful fish, though. Damn. Why couldn't he have been a red grouper? <laughs> or mutton. Yeah, any, anything. Yeah, I think it's big. I think fought for real. Holy oh. smokes. He's so blue, it's crazy. It's a beautiful fish, bro. Definitely don't want to get bit by him. Want to get your pliers? Oh yeah, some nice pliers. Oh, perfect. Need that or not? Grab this one. In the corner of the beak. Woo! You want to hold him up? Okay. Holy moly! What an absolutely beautiful fish, though. It almost doesn't look real the color he is. Probably get a lot of money for this fish for an aquarium or something. Yeah. All right, well. Stud. I guess release the... So we've caught a parrotfish, strawberry grouper, a grana yellowtail. And a slippery dick fix for the... Oh, yeah. Well, you'd think we were having an awesome day if you, if you thought how many species we've murdered. Uh -huh. Oh, you got a big fish on. Oh, what is that? He, he might be trying to go on the rocks. Oh, Did he go on the rocks? I think that's what it that was, was a big grouper. Bro. That was a big grouper. No. Oh no! Yeah, maybe you can get him out of there. Oh. Can't stop him with this rock. Bro. Yeah, that, that was be good on this one. <laughs> yeah, of course oh. the grouper has to eat the yellowtail rod. He probably looked at it and he's like, "I got this." Oh my god! He told his girl down there, he's like, "Watch this. Hold my beer and watch this. I'm gonna grab this guy's rod." Oh, and those yellowtail were going buck wild down I there. It. I saw that. And that looked like a decent, like those all, oh, I see him down there. Okay, they're still down there. That's good. Can't believe he went right into that rock. I, I tried stopping him, but it was not going to happen with that one. Oh, I think a yellowtail just grabbed mine. Maybe not. Or he stole my bait. Damn, he stole my bait. There they are again. Yeah. What did you have on your hook when he bit? Freaking, uh, silver side. A silver side? Yeah, Damn, guy. and he just, just it slurped it down. He just threw it out there, bro. Oh, he, oh, he might be out or something. Oh, broke off? Yeah. Yeah. Well. At least we know what sounds. Oh, I broke off the brain. I bet there's some serious grouper and muttons down there. I'm surprised we're not hooking into them. Two? I'll take it. Yeah, we got three. Two. We got two chunkers. They're going in the, uh, in, in there now. <laughs> Those again. are chunky ones. Yeah. Oh yeah, he grabbed it. Yep, just a little J hook. Oh, this might be, I think this might be the, uh, woo. Hey. All right. But of course he swallowed it cause it's a tiny hook. Hey bud, where's that hook at? I think I can get to it. Oops, he went straight into the bucket, but I was gonna release him. Wait, let's see. Ah, he's gonna, I'm gonna let him go. All right, this is our karma fish. You know, I thought it was a bigger fish, but yeah, he took it like he was a big fish. Oh, wait, maybe he's getting bigger, hold on. Come on, fish. Where's the big ones? Yeah, I just keep letting my hook drift further and further back. You have, you have three inside the net. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty funny. They're just hooking themselves yeah. at this point. Ah, I'm gonna let them go. I like 13 plusters. Yeah. When they're like 12, it's like, yeah. that's a good hit. Swimming, swimming up. Yellowtail. Hi. Yep. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Damn, you're uh, what broke? Just the what pound leader you got on here? 20. No, 15. 15? Damn. 
That's crazy. Bro, I want a freaking car. And I wasn't even giving him that much pressure. Maybe. <laughs> I saw him. He was right there. He was definitely the best one. Damn, the way he hit too. He, he, yeah, he was a feisty one. At least we saw him. You know what, what he ate that time? A bonita strip. Bonita strip. Damn, I might need to put a bonita strip on. You got yourself a hound fish. He's a crazy one. Yeah. Oh, I might be on. Oh, that's my line? I got all excited. Wow, look at that bugger. That's a tasty looking fish. Okay, well, where's that sun at? Here it is. We did some, you know, yellow tailing, caught a few yellow tail in the box. Joey lost a nice big fat juicy one. And now what we did is we decided to run off shore a little bit and we are in 280 feet of water. We're gonna drop down some vertical jigs. Joey's dropping dropping a live ballyhoo down on a weight. So we'll have a live ballyhoo on the bottom while we're vertical jigging. We're just gonna drift over a couple of spots out here and hope we can get something real big now. We're what, 280? Yeah, 280. All right, let's drop these bad boys down. We might get ourselves in trouble when we hook something real big here. I'm just saying. I'm just saying we might get in trouble here. If you look at the screen, you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes! Freaking on the top of the water column. I caught him like 50 feet down. Yes. Feels like a tuna. <laughs> he's got crazy head shakes. I don't know what he's doing, but he should be close. He's kind of swimming like out. Yeah. Oh! What is it? What is that? He's taking a crap. No! No! Give it back to me! That was a black fin tuna. Look how big he was. Look at that son of oh. a bitch. Look at the other one. They're huge. They're two massive kudas, bro. That was a black fin tuna. Damn. Oh, if I would have known, I would have oh put the heat to him a little bit more. Look at that, bro. <sighs> Look at that one. That's a shark. Oh my god, we got all sorts of crazy creatures. One nice black fin tuna. What a nice black fin, bro. I mean, that was probably like a freaking... A I mean, there's still a bite. You want to... <laughs> you want to just take a bite out of him? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Uh, yeah, those things are crazy. That was insane. Oh, I threw the head in and the kuda grabbed it right there. Holy smokes. And that there was a big shark down there too. That was oh, that was kind of insane. I'm actually surprised that this rod didn't go off. So well, we know that there's black fins. Yeah. Well, I can't believe I can't believe that happened. Yeah, you got a spotlight at least. Yeah, yeah. I got running lights and or the spreader bar up there. It's pretty bright. Do you have any questions about it? Well, yesterday was a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of work for two yellowtail. But we're about to cook those snapper up. And before we do that, I gotta say, got pulled over on the way in. And I'm interested what you guys think about me getting pulled over. I got a, I got a whole pile of papers and tickets. <laughs> so it was like seven o'clock. When we started racing back in, I, you know, I was trying to beat the the, uh, the sun because uh, my front navigation lights, as you can see, they're missing. Hmm, wonder where they went. Well, what happened was when we threw the anchor in here, the anchor hit the wires and pulled out of the the nav lights and uh, broke them. <laughs> Tragedy. <laughs> Typical boat stuff. So I was trying to get in before dark. And of course we get pulled over like right as I'm coming in the channel, I'm like two minutes 
two or three minutes away from my dock, like right on the other side of those mangroves where that cut is. And of course they're like, oh, your, your navigation lights aren't working. I was like, I know. I was like, it's, we can still, like, there's still a little bit of daytime. So I was like, I'm just trying to get home real quick. I was like, the stupid anchor broke the lights and uh, I was going to get them fixed uh, later today. And they were like, okay, all right, cool. You catch any fish? And they were like being super cool with me. And I was like, oh yeah, they're in the front, you know, you can take a look at them if you want. He's like, okay, we're going to do safety inspection, of course. All good. You know, I pull out all my stuff and then he asks me if I've ever been pulled over before. And I'm like, yeah, I get pulled over all the time. He's like, have you ever been pulled over with the wrap on your boat? I said, yeah, all the time. You know, I've had the, the wrap for years now. He was like, well, you know, you're not supposed to have the your boat numbers on the tower of your boat. They're supposed to be on the uh, on the side of your boat. And I was like, yeah, I know. But uh, if you take a look at my wrap, if I would put black letterings on that super colorful wrap you would not be able to see the numbers at all so i was actually trying to be courteous and i put them up here where they're super easy to read and you can read them from a mile away when they're up here when they're on the bow you don't see see them at all that's why i put them up here and he's like oh, okay well he's like no one's ever giving you troubles and i'm like nope nobody's ever complained about it everyone's just you know they're easy to read and move on with their day and then he was like all right where's your registration and I looked for it and I found my registration that expired like three months ago, but I had the new one and you could see my sticker is up to date, but I don't know where I put the uh, the new registration that that sticker came on. I, I remember I had it and I put it in my bag, but I was looking for it and I could not find it, but he put my numbers in. He was, goes, um, he was like, all right, I see that you're registered and everything's paid and it all looks good. He put it in his computer. So I'm like, okay. So like in my head, I think he's just going to be like, yeah, you know, have a good day. Well, like 30 minutes go by and he's like been typing all this stuff in his computer and it's been taking a while in my head i'm like do i have like a warrant out for me or something <laughs> like, why is this taking so long and uh then he's like okay well i i wrote you uh, some tickets and all this stuff and i'm like oh man okay for what mind you i've been nice this whole time joey was with me you know he, he's a law enforcement officer in miami so like you know i figured maybe we, that would help us out a bit i don't know i guess apparently not and he was like all right well i can't have my numbers displayed on the tower that was the first thing failed to show registration was the second thing no nav lights was the third thing and then the fourth thing was i had my flares were expired by like two months but i had a distress flag so i was like oh like uh i know that the flares are expired but i have the distress flag uh, to put up which replaces your uh, flares. But he told me that because it's nighttime, people can't see the, the flag, so then I need the flares. But the thing was, when I got pulled over, you could still see. And the fact that he spent 30 minutes on his computer, now it was nighttime. So I was just like, really? You're gonna write, write me up for that? <laughs> so yeah, got a bunch of tickets. And uh, I guess, uh, yeah, I, I think the nav light ticket is understandable. Maybe I, I deserve that one probably, but I feel like all the other things were a little unnecessary. Keep all your safety gear up to date. Make sure your nav lights are working and make sure your registration is on your boat because even though it's 2022 or 2023 and they can just look it up and see if it's paid, apparently you need a piece of paper like it's the freaking 90s. I don't know what's up with that. That's a pretty stupid rule. You know, everything is digital these days, so I don't understand why, uh, why we need to carry around these little pieces of paper. But I guess if you don't follow the rules, you'll end up like me with a book of tickets, so don't be like me. Now to the exciting part. I am going to go to the kitchen now, and we're gonna cook up the yellowtail snapper. All right, we're in the kitchen, and we have our two yellowtail snapper in the bucket. Thank you, Joey, for giving me both the yellowtail snapper. And how unfortunate that the freaking, I caught a nice black fin tuna, and right at the boat, the two big barracudas basically devoured him. And I finally got a rice cooker, and I have perfectly cooked sticky sushi rice we would have been making sushi today but instead i'm going to be doing something very not kosher this is like almost my third time in a row doing this <laughs> and i told myself i wasn't going to keep doing this but i found a fireball ramen and it just looked so good fireball ramen noodles and it's a bulking kind of day my whole body's sore not hitting the gym today it's a eat 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 kind of day let my body fix itself 
and a bowl of ramen noodles has 400 400 calories per serving plus some yellowtail snapper let's go all right mr yellowtail snapper i mean he does look good and we're gonna fillet them extremely simple where we just make the cut make the cut just run your knife right along the ribs flip oh, flip it and just like that we are left with a nice piece of yellowtail snapper now there are some ribs on this so we will cut the ribs out cut a little bit of that bloodline out Elliot don't go eating my fish now buddy there's bones in there look at that perfect you know we didn't lose any meat it was a good cut easy peasy easiest way ever to fillet a yellowtail snapper we got our yellowtail snapper fillets this is where the real magic happens we got our uh, carolina reaper the reaper south florida fishing channel fish and game seasonings real spicy if y'all ever tried this you know that i just put an unholy amount of reaper on here and in this pan here i got a little bit of butter i'm gonna heat that up we'll sizzle up the fillets and while that's happening we're gonna take our fire bowl a ramen fire bowl open it up about halfway like that we take out the two packets put both packets inside of it just some plain noodles in there this is where the real juice is the two packets pour them in there get every last drop <coughs> oh. Woo. I inhaled some of that fire I probably shouldn't have put so much reaper on the fish baby okay well that is it right in there now we're gonna add water to the water line and throw it in the microwave when you hear the sizzle it's time to add the fish one thing about yellowtail snapper is they're a very soft Fish. So when you try to cook them in a pan, like fillets, they kind of fall apart a little bit. Just keep that in mind. Not really the best fish to like make a sandwich with, but still amazing soft flaky meat. Look at that, delightful. Let's give it a try. Mmm, buttery soft, just melts in your mouth, has a nice kick of spice from that reaper. Woo! And it just all melts together with that butter. It's really kind of impossible to beat just some pan seared yellowtail snapper with some butter and some good seasoning but i need some calories and that's where the ramen come in <laughs> we're living bachelor bachelor life here boys and girls just open this bowl of ramen up Woo! hot it's hot 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 in there and we're gonna want to mix it up nicely get that flavor properly saturated in those noodles microwave it for three minutes let it sit for one minute so easy to make ramen that's why it is at the top of the charts for any bachelor life and we are gonna pour in all of the yellowtail snapper some of y'all might be yelling at me right now through the screen um, i don't blame you honestly future me is probably gonna yell at me too but we're gonna mix that up in there oh, ho, ho. not gonna lie smells really good and it looks really good a spicy ramen has always been at the top of the charts for me when like comfort food ho oh, ho baby look at how much fish is in that bite oh it's trying to get away from me there we go ton of fish ton of noodles let's see how spicy the fire bowl really is it's not overpowering spicy but it is spicy it's it's like a good flavor spicy and the fish in there Whenever I just eat ramen, I feel like I'm just eating a ton of carbs, no protein, but now I actually feel like good. Like I'm like getting my carbs and my protein. This is an awesome snack. This is like a good between lunch and dinner snack or dessert. Sometimes at night I'll make some ramen noodles, call it a dessert. Whew. Hmm. I would actually highly recommend this. If you're on a budget or you're on a time crunch and you want some just deliciousness this this would be it now if you're trying to impress a girl you might want to you know take take the yellowtail fillets 
put it on a bed of rice with some mango chutney or something and you know make it a little presentable but mm. all right thank you guys for watching this episode to the end i have a very exciting episode coming up because there's some treasure out there in the ocean in the mangroves in my backyard i was paddle boarding the oh whoo, i was paddle boarding the other day that spice catches up with you and I saw a boat out there. It was like a half sunken boat, but it's kind of floating. I'm gonna take my paddle board, I'm gonna tie it up, and I'm gonna paddle board it back to my house. I'm gonna to try to restore it, and then we're gonna to try to fish off of it. Yeah, that's right, I'm gonna salvage a boat. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Cheers.